I took Propecia Finasteride for many years. I was living in Los Angeles at the time, working as an actor, and losing my hair was not an option. But I have since stopped taking it, and here's why. Finasteride is a medication that you take once a day, and it does this. It reduces the effect of hormones on hair follicles. It blocks the conversion of testosterone to DHT, the androgen responsible for male pattern hair loss in genetically predisposed men. Decreasing the amount of DHT leads to increased hair growth and slower hair loss. And it works for most men. Only a small percentage of men do not respond to it. Originally, finasteride was prescribed at a larger dose for enlarged prostates. But then they started noticing that patients also started regrowing their hair. And of course, it was launched as a new medication for hair loss. I took finasteride for many years and I never questioned it and it did make my hair fuller. But last year, I went for a checkup to my urologist. I happen to be at that age now where you have to go to these checkups every year or so. And as he was looking at my chart, he noticed that I take finasteride and he was asking me why I take it. And I said, obviously, for <laughs> uh, to you know not lose my hair. So then he mentions that he doesn't prescribe it anymore because he doesn't think it's safe. And that was the first I had heard of it. No one has ever told me that there were any concerns taking finasteride. So, you know, different doctors, different opinions. I took it with a grain of salt. But then I found out about a letter. It's called a red hand letter here in Germany that the German government or the equivalent of the FDA here in Germany sent to all German doctors urging them to let their patients know of these risks and side effects associated with finasteride. I had never heard of this before. This is a warning letter sent by the Drug Commission of the German Medical Association to all doctors and it warns of long-term sexual and psychological side effects. I never had problems with with my sex drive while on the medication, but some people are reporting severe sexual side effects that last for years after they stop taking the medication. What really scared me is the reports of psychological side effects, anxiety, depression, and suicidal thoughts. The Drug Commission actually had drug makers add this warning in their product leaflets. Now I've struggled with anxiety in the past and it's not fun to put it mildly. When you're anxious, and depressed, the last thing on your mind is sex. So I think psychological side effects are much worse than just sexual side effects. So for me, risking long-term side effects, sexual but also psychological, is just not worth it. For a medication that makes your hair fuller, it's not life-saving, it's just for looks, it's aesthetics. But I get it, it really sucks. Losing your hair is awful. It's really hard on your self-esteem, on your confidence. Thankfully, there are other things that unfortunately take a little bit more time than taking one pill a day, but that work just as well and have zero side effects. You just have to find the combination that works for you. I made a video about the four things that I do to keep my hair from thinning, so if you wanna check that out. The only thing that I would suggest if you're still considering taking finasteride is taking it every other day. There have been newer studies that compare the daily dosage with the every other day dosage and the drop off in effectiveness is very, very small. And you might really minimize the risk of side effects. So if I was to take finasteride, I would do it that way. But right now, I'm not planning on it. If all else fails, I will get a transplant. They're getting cheaper and cheaper all the time. And there's new techniques where you don't even have to shave your head. If you wanna find out more about these studies or if you actually need help because you took the medication and are now really struggling with side effects, check out the website for the Post Finasteride syndrome foundation i have the link in the description below thank you so much for watching if you liked it hit the subscribe button i'll be making a lot more content like this take care